Welcome to Ushuaia, the most student city in the world. I thought it would be pretty cool to come here and see kind of trail of the flag of the end of the world. But then I thought to myself, there is still one place where I can go. One more place, even more student than that. And of course, I'm talking about Antarctica. So right now, I'm on top of the deck of the ship. The view is absolutely amazing. I have nothing but mountains and sea around me. I am super excited because this is going to be the view for the next few days. But not only is it going to be this view, it'll be getting much better because we see much more icebergs and penguins. Here we are, we are inside of my cabin. It's pretty nice and neat. I don't have a little window to look out in the morning, so it's pretty cool. Right now, I'm gonna go outside and check out the, the ship we have here. I say a little. It's actually pretty huge. It has, I believe, seven floors. I do feel a bit like the tiny vibes. Oh, thank you. Hello. Cheers. So this is dinner time, and we have a nice view out the window as well as we're going out of the Beagle Channel into the Great Passage. So we're enjoying this lovely meal over here. The thing is, about Six hours time, so we'll be in Drake Passage. And all this beautiful dinner will be coming out of us because of the lovely nine meter waves that we'll be crashing into. So even though this is gonna be nice, then it's like guilty for me to just like eating this much because it's coming out. When crossing the Drake Channel, you have three options. You have the Drake Lake, you have the Drake Shake, and then you have the Drake Quake. Currently we have the Drake Shake, which is the middle, not the worst option. The swell is pretty bad. The waves are about 2 3 meters, but it is still manageable. The worst scenario is the Drake wave, and that is when the waves as well is about 10 meters and the boat is rolling really, really hard. So far, so good. No real problem. So it's officially day two of the cruise. I am really, really feeling the waves. Like, I've been walking around and almost getting sick the entire morning, which was not great. Because like the last thing you want to do is get sick in the morning. Especially when you have a buffet. You just don't turn your heads on it. So I manned off, got myself a pill, and I'm eating away on this nice breakfast with a view. But the only downside, even with the pill, is that because of the waves, the entire place is just like jumping all over the place. <laughs> so like all of the cutlery is flying from the tables. Like there were like dishes crashing several seconds ago. These guys over here. I've been trying to record the plates to go off the table for the past like half an hour and it's just not happening like Every time we turn on the camera <laughs> If you move if you, if you your sound doesn't count So, since it is very stormy outside and we're not allowed to go outside on the decks we've decided to explore the ship itself and obviously, the number one stop on the tour is gonna be the gym Ooh, Getting a pump bro so it's coming up to the end of day two and a pretty nice and chill day today because in the morning I had some food, a few lectures, some talks and I was trying to get over the seasickness. So we're just taking it easy about the gym and all. But now as you can see behind me the waters are very nice and quiet. I'm not rocking back and forth as much anymore which means we're going into the quiet calm waters now. A tree of trip. We just got an announcement saying that we have spotted some whales along the ship. So hopefully you may be able to see some more whales coming up to the coast. And why that is exciting is because right now it's not really the whaling season. You can't really see many whales. But we will be in store for a lot of penguins once we get to Antarctica. So looking forward to those little things. But right now I really hope to get some nice shots of the big creatures. You excited or not? Oh, I'm so excited, you have no idea. I used to be a whale. You look, you look like one, I can see the similarities. Yeah, 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 you can see it in my blood. Right now we're doing a bi-security prep for Antarctica, which means we're pretty much covering all of our outer layers and all of our backpacks just to make sure we don't have any foreign elements coming into Antarctica, like like rain, food, anything like that, not allowed, so we don't disturb any of the fauna there. We still cannot see land, but as I said, we are promised some land over there in the horizon in about four or five hours and then hopefully we'll be able to see some icebergs as well now one thing i'm really really hoping not to do is to recreate the fate of titanic so if you're seeing this video chances are we're still alive so that's good we've officially reached antarctica it's actually snowing right now you can see Forest Islands, which are the South Shetland Islands, and it's pretty, pretty unreal because it's just nothing but white, just snow, it's 
just magical. I can already describe it, but tomorrow is going to be even better because tomorrow we'll be doing our first landing and we'll be doing our first zodiac tours, which should be amazing because we'll be able to see penguins and they'll be finally able to get the penguin selfie. It's about 7 o'clock, we get a breakfast and talk about having a breakfast for the view. Right now, we just allowed to our fourth destination. The scouts are checking out the location, making sure it's safe to land. Whilst we are over here having a breakfast and enjoying this magnificent view. The conditions could not be better. It's nice, sunny, there's absolutely no wind, and it is just magnificent. All around us, you can see nothing but icebergs, snow, and just pristine conditions. It's just amazing what the nature could look like when we don't mess around with it. So right now, getting ready to go out. We have our water resistant gear on, and we're about to board the Zodiacs. Say that I'm excited. It's an understatement and a half. How are you feeling? Oh, I'm so excited. First time in Antarctica. So we just made a forced landing in Antarctica on Tuberville Island. And right now we are surrounded by nothing but ice, snow, and hundreds of penguins. You can see all around me just white and red. The cool thing about this island is that you can go pretty pretty close to the wildlife. Even though there's a 5 meter rule, you're not meant to get close to the 5 meters to any wildlife. It's just not disturb it. That does not mean that the wildlife cannot come up closer to you. We're only sitting right here, nice and still, waiting for the penguins behind me to come up. Because apparently if you sit around for long enough, they just become very very curious and come up right beside you and if that happens to be able to take nice close up shots it's all nice and cool this but there's only two downsides number one I'm sitting nice and it's pretty cold number two all this red stuff that you see all around me is penguin poop so yeah the biggest downside is me sitting in penguin poop but it's gonna be watered yeah, but... maybe hopefully we'll find out So right now we're getting ready for our second landing at Bangkok Island. Well, it's going to be our first landing at the island, but it's the second landing of the day. Kayaks are heading out there are out before us, so hopefully I'll be able to get a few snaps of those. Unfortunately, due to this being a very heavy completed area with fauna, we're not allowed to find any drones, which is a shame, but at the same time, we do not want to be disturbing the breeding practices of the penguins. So, let's get some nice photos and enjoy those. So right now we're getting a zodiac to the shore. And we are kind of drifting through the glaciers and like bumping over some of the ice. Like right this right now. It's pretty kind of scary, especially after having seen Titanic recently. But hopefully we'll be able to stay afloat. We are the first group to land here on this island, which means we get to walk the route first and get to see the penguins first. But there's one downside to that. The route is still very, very fresh and we can walk and fall down into the holes of snow. But no, we can really kind of just leave these holes and walk on because if a penguin falls into one of them, they will literally get stuck there and die. So but every step I take, because I'm a fat bastard, I get sucked into the snow, which means I have to fill in every single step, every single gap I make. And even though they walk up the top of the hill over there, it's only about like 100 meters or so. It's gonna take me about half an hour, merely because of these holes. So it's gonna be fun. After about 20 minutes of struggle and falling down the snow holes, aka penguin death trap, it's the top of the hill. I'm gonna sit here and hope for them to come closer to us so that we can take some nice close up shots. So, as predicted, I can't fall into the snow, but one of the times I fall in, I fall in so deep, my shoe, my boot actually got stuck right inside of it. I had to get digged out with a spade. As a result, all of my shoes were all full of snow, so that when I got back into them, they were all wet, and now, my feet are to be cold. Because we were on the top for the past hour, my feet are to be freezing now from being cold and wet. But now, it's only one solution to heat all this cold and all it's sauna. Let's go. First use of the sauna, it could be not be a better time because we have to be freezing. And now it's just going here. 
and warm up. After spending the past few hours in Antarctica, it's just so nice to come in here and just chill and warm up a bit. What are your thoughts on this, Hal? Oh my god, I'm in paradise. Listen, look at the sauna. After a few hours in the cold snow. And like, it, it's ridiculous. It's just like, I could not ask for a better thing. One thing that could be just even better that I know is gonna happen is a buffet dinner that we're having in about 40 minutes. So like, we're living in paradise right now. Amazing. I said that it was refreshing, it's to say nothing, it was actually amazing but what's even better is walking out of a sauna into nice arctic cold air which really wakes you up from being nice and cozy and warm inside the sauna <sighs> It's magical it's Magical! Currently we are on top of a deck, we're looking out for some orcas that were spotted here a few seconds ago We might see them, maybe not, but even if we don't we have something better in store which is this amazing sunset right behind me So it's currently almost 10 o'clock but because we're so far south right now, the sunset has only begun. It is really amazing. The weather has been nothing but a gift. Good morning, everyone. This is officially day two of landings, and currently we are heading into the Paradise Bay. And if you look around me, you'll see this magnificent scenery, and you will realize and understand why this place is called Paradise. Especially today, because for the second day in a row, the weather has been absolutely amazing. There has been absolutely zero wind, and there's just no rain, no snow, which makes the conditions for photos and videos just perfect. If you look around me, the water is so still, you can see reflections of the ice breaking on all on the water, which just makes this paradise for a photographer. <laughs> So right now we're going through the Paradise Bay to make a first landing. No one on the boat has any idea what you're saying. We have so much fun. Are we? <laughs> right now we're going to Paradise Bay to make a first landing here near Brown Station. There's so much ice that the cruise ship had to be over there and we'll be making a little trip to the shore a few kilometers in there's so much ice i'm hoping we do not crash on the actual peninsula. We actually we reached the seven continent. We are here. We finally made it. Right now we are near the Brown Station which is currently closed because it only operates about once a year. But we still get to walk around and see the Hudson all and observe this magnificent scenery behind me. The actual station used to be much bigger but a few decades ago fire destroyed most of it and now there's only a few huts over here. Mm -hmm. 